Voice test. Voice test. Fuggers, Add strength to stem. I don't need to be that big. This needs to be over here. I don't know why OBS does this. It's so freaking weird that I spend time adjusting the UI. Pretty much fine. Okay, how are you? Hope you're having a good day. You won't complain. There you go. What do we roll? The Cenobite. Okay. So do we want to start... Make sure I actually got everything set correctly. Good. Cool. So do we want to start with dailies? And then go to school merchant games? Hey Thana, bye Thana. Or do we go straight to school merchants? A couple little crackly that I need to fix, I see. There we go. What do we want to do? Do we want to start with one of the dailies or no? What are you doing, you little goober? What are you doing? Wanna say hi to Twenty? Wanna say hi to Trendy? With the camera too, you can hide. Okay. You silly, silly girl. Hmm. Any cat hair? In a survivor with a hatchet throw attack four times. Should be able to do that. I'm already up to go four. I played some games last night just for the hell of it. That's pretty fun. Mangled, maybe? Uh, what do we want to do? One of these. Okay. So we'll start with... Huntress. Get the daily out of the way. If it goes too easy, then we'll swap over to one of the other ones to do their daily. And then we'll do the rest of the night as Cobra Chins. That should be good.
All right, I think I'm good. 15 minutes late, but this is fine. Uh, what else do I need to do, though? I think there's something else I'm supposed to do. What do, what do, what do? I think I got I think. I think. Maybe. Possibly. Probably. Probably. Option Charlie. Hmm. Wait, 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 Hmm. I think next week I might experiment and do one early stream. Like a double stream day kind of thing. Just to see how it goes. Probably not so well, but might be something to play with. And this map's not really a great map to get four hits. What I'm doing. Ah! Yeah, this thing. You're not gonna fall for any of this shtick. Except for that one. Thank you, Megan. What's up? Hope you are doing well. We are just trying to do the daily. Yeah, hope you are doing well. Glad to hear it. I am glad to hear it. Big screams. Big, big, big screams. Three more hits. Two.
All right, good trade. Good trade, good trade. I'll take it. That's three. I feel bad for him. Literally ran right into me. I don't care. Can't move. there where to go where to go
There, now the daily's done. I'm not going to make it. Up, oh, just barely. So that pisses them off. They're out of the way, not off. It's not that great, but...
Alright. Very weird start, but okay. Up you go. Keep pulling two parts are left to right. I'm not getting anywhere I need to be. But Daily's done. I could do that one. That would be weird. Look for survivors while using the perk leverage. That might be worthwhile. Nice. The next is our froggy. That's pretty cool. needs leverage somewhere in this. I don't remember which one leverage is. I might have to look that up. Let me see what leverage is. I probably should already know what that is somewhere. That's game of foot. That's Dwarf. Leverage. So we need a injury setup thing. Leverage. speed which far we see about five percent so sloppy butcher would make sense on that hmm 
Hmm. Orders that might work, I guess, but eh. Yeah, let's try this. If I don't see any flashlights, I could drop Lightborn off or something else to make it a little bit more unique. Nope, so there's a flashlight, so we're gonna keep that on. Oof. Hmm. Oh, ah, I fucking hate this map. It's fine. Let him go. Facing him is just a bad idea. But he's got nothing on him.
Yeah, should start. Hey, look, I got Lightborn. Sucks for you. Vacuumed the fuck. All right, there's no point. He's useless. That was useless as tits on a bowl. No point in following him. no point. Uh, we'll drop the audio since they want to be a bunch of little douchebags and spam audio. And we'll just wait for the game to end. Which is a shame, but it's just how the IQ of some of these survivors are. They don't feel like they're doing anything unless they are being obnoxious as possible. But they get that from two or three Twitch partners that that's all they do is be toxic little cunts for a living. They see it on YouTube, think it's cool, and they try to do the same stuff. I guarantee if I reveal some of these names, you'll see some of those partner names that are very similar to them. Very cunt like, if you will. Let's see how let's see if I'm right. Yeah, there's one. There's two. Yep, three. So I could pretty much tell you for a almost fact that two of them 
are diehard fanboys of a particular Twitch partner that does nothing but that toxic bullshit and makes YouTube videos all day. Willing to bet anything on it. But it is what it is. Um, I can't use my controller. The fuck? My game is really bugged out. I can't do anything. Yeah, yeah I can't do anything. What the fuck? Okay, let's relaunch the game. Uh, three seconds after leaving the aura. That might be fun.
Hmm. I made it fun. Give us a try. All right. It's me crazy when people do that. Survivors. Like, dude, just don't. So I said...
All right, well, that's three. Just use him as a honey trap. I got stuck. Uh. 
and drop. That one. Oh, there she is. We're up to eight tokens of that. Token number nine. Like little mosquitoes, they pop up for a second, then they vanish. Pop up, then vanish. Pop up, then vanish.
She had the arm trap on her. I hit the wrong one. It was bad. Got one back on her, nice. One bus loop. Yeah, that power was bad. I ran, I ran. Another bus loop. I'm dizzy. That was a scary door. I don't know if we'll make it back in time. Take the item, I'll take it from you though. Just remember that. No, don't do it. Try to steal the damn med kit back. I had two survivors do that in the past where they drop the item. They're like, hi, thanks. I run.
Nice. Got a robot head. Nice. Now we gotta work on getting some of these random pages. Like this one. Had two survivors within 30 seconds of that survivor being tracked on your radar as a school of merchants. Okay. Ooh, starting to really have bad headache. Uh that's cool. It really feels like my school's splitting. Oh, we got the froggy! Hoggers. Hoggers. Eh, don't care about the shorts. Our farm looks pretty cool, I guess. Really, we don't get anything new that we want. For a while. Survivor charm, so yeah. Energy prod, yeah. So next thing we really get that I would even want is to or is uh, number thirty-five for that the uh, Necronomicon. Shark fin will be the next actual cool one we get. Ooh, he looks sort of cool. Oh, okay. A little wrist uh, device thingy she uses. That makes sense. That's a binocular, okay. Cool. Really not that much I'm interested in. Hey, we get next level. Level 13. Yeah. The next is to hit two survivors within 30 seconds, being tracked on your radar as a school of merchants. So we need to do a adjustment on this. Want to lock up on that one? I need to see when they actually enter it, so I need to have that on. Let's go. Yeah, 
head really hurts. Maybe brutal strength? Maybe something like that might work. Is there anything else I could possibly swap out though? Maybe if we go blood favor. Know what to do. Go with your hubris build, I guess. Riddle strength? Yeah. Something like this should work. Something like that should work. Flashlight, yeah, no. Alright, so we are going full ham on stuff. Interesting. Uh, change the channel for Thinny Cats. All these burgers. Rick and Dad, Rick and Morty. Cool. The Blizzard Entertainment email. What is that about?
Oh shit. I actually got invited to do Diablo Floor early access on May 12th and 14th. Nice. I need to see if that's streamable, because that'll be fun for next month. Oh yeah, we don't have that ability, huh? Actually would have been good on this map. So I'm going to catch him off guard. I wonder how basement skull merchant will be now that I keep seeing the damn basement every two seconds. Maybe that might be a fun one.
My dude. Yeah, I'm not playing that game. Fuck you. Another thing I'm gonna start a bit of fun about playing Rondo oh, Shack. I'd say rip. Nice one.
Good trade. Fuck. Not a good trade. Fight in there. Take it two. Take it two. Push two. <laughs> two. Any rat's ass chance in hell I get three? Probably not. Jeez. Oh. Not bad, we got help played hard at the start. Survivors in basement, we can do that. All right, cool. Cool, 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 cool. And we got page four and page five. Nice, we'll just do those in a minute. We need two survivors in the basement, which means we need iron string. We need agitation. And we need Monster's trying, but I forgot what the icon for that is. This one? Yeah. The so page five is what I need to keep in mind.
might be able to get this to work with what we're doing. Oh, uh, I'll yellow it. We're just trying to play around the far side tonight. We're going to get two survivors in the basement, so I still need a backpack build. And if we're doing that, we might as well play uh, basement for this one game. I am so done with this map. This is what, number three or number four tonight we've seen this map? So behavior's whole entire reducing the amount you see a map kind of thing was sort of bullshit. Just saying. Actually had worse uh map variety on this patch than I did any other time, which is a little sad. So we're going to face Camp Hero of the game. No basement. Is there really no basement on this map? Is that why I have the hooks out here?
I don't care. I'm not giving her up. If you guys want to play meta, I'll play meta. This is meta. So if you want to play compared to meta, I'll play compared to meta with you. Done playing competitive meta? You wanna go back to pub style or no? Yeah. Have any more than two? One gone. Nice one. Can I, can I, can I, can I get? Ah, uh, just off. About half a second off. Oh shit, I actually do have a basement. Why did it not show up for me? It must be that basement hook show up for you. Or did it? That pisses me off a little.
There's one. So I do have stuff set up. That's good. I think I'll be pushing it, but let's see. Two fuckers. important that we kick it because if not we are in deep poo poo up on here
Ooh, nice. Jeez. Hey games. Oh yeah, nice. So every single killer and survivor challenge is now done. No, every single killer mode is done. I mean, technically we could do these ones, right? 50,000 blood points. Eight better, eh. Okay, we'll do two. Then we've got to farm survivor forever to get this done, but it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Nice. Let's change a couple of small things. Urban hooks we don't need because the challenge is done. This one is what? 50,000 blood points? Eh. Give it a bit, 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 bit. Go back to a gen regression build, because why not? Just a play around. And again, that would be a fun little... ...thing to add. Sort of a backpack kind of thing.
Backpack build is why not. I want to do that though. Hmm. Yeah, let's try this. Let's see how this goes. You know what, this actually might be a little bit more fun to meme with. Now I think about it. Let's go. Ah, fuck, I'm gonna get a chance to fix it. It's fine. Just because we're one pip off from gold three, we might as well do it real quick. Get it out of the way. Theme song stuck in my head. Is hmm. All right, so this one's gonna be a little bit weird of a build, but it should work the same. Um, it's really gonna depend on how we get spawns, though. I don't know. As long as the spawns are decent, we can make this work. But if we get both wide open ones, then the spell's not gonna work for Rudd. That That's okay. That is okay. Email. Email, Blizzard. The game, not bad. I mean, I don't like this map, but for totems, it's really not that bad. Well, we got a shit totem on one. I need to see where the bottom one is. I don't know where the bottom one is. The bottom one might be good, might be terrible. I don't know. It just depends on how it's boxed in. Throw one here. I'll cover the whole corner. Yeah. Ooh. Ah. So much she was gonna spread for forced. Spent red burst and you could to a corner, but that didn't work.
Shit. Yeah, they're just pumping them out. <laughs> Up one here. Alright, that didn't work. Yeah, I'm not happy with that spawn. Oh, that popped. That's not good. So we got one totem. Bang, baby. What you doing? Bangy, baby. Hey, let me finish my song. Bang. Bad bang. My dude, he barely let me walk away. My dude. Duders. Huggers. Good one. Sadly, you're afraid to camp to you. Don't get mad at me, get mad at your friend. I know, I know, sweetie, I know. No, don't throw a temper tantrum. Don't throw a thinny temper tantrum. one here. Up one. There. Up 
one here. Two done. bitch. later out. Got up on our own. Unbreakable? Maybe? That or she has, uh. I don't think she has medkit. I think she has chill box. Hmm. If she had medkit, then I would zoom. A little septic thingy.
Ah, she found it. GG. Oof, so close. Twelve meters, twenty meters. Okay. Makes sense. And yeah, unbreakable. Okay, cool. about froggy ew it's 2d I thought it was gonna be a 3d robot head yeah. hopefully next year's 3d Never better. I think at least get four of those done. I basically play two games. Thank you. Sweet Williams, Fog Lorels.
Oh, they're all over there. For whatever reason, I just didn't see them. I mean, how more obnoxious can it be to have your totem stuck up on a literal fucking mountain? For survivors to see. What is that? It's a teddy bear. Oh, okay. And now I can knock everyone over. Huggers. Little dickish, but because they found that one totem so quick, I can't risk them finding the other token or totem that quickly. 
So I might as well get max power if she had unbreakable. So she's up. They found the other totem. Feels bad. But enough damage is done that I don't think it matters. I go from jumping, whatever. Game and it's weird buggy logic. That's fine. first. Good night, Wheel. Hope you have a good night's rest, a great day tomorrow. And thank you for being here. I really do appreciate it.
Big hoops. There it is. GG's. I would normally let them go, but go for the night was just to get to gold three for the sake of getting gold three, and that was the last pep. And sadly, if you don't get four kills, you just don't get the pep. Because DBD logic. <laughs> Nice. 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 Cool. So four more silvers and we're done with all possible killer challenges in this uh, thing. And then we gotta do all the survivor ones, which is a little bit of a oof. Especially the quiet escape and yeah. That's fine. Let's see what the collections are. So, somebody else. Second place. She wants to wretch. She never comes in second place. If it weren't for those idiots at the publishing house canceling Dad's series, she'd be able to finish her semester. But they don't know genius when they see it. So here she is. Watching her grades go into free fall as Joao takes top marks in the class. Joao. The name makes her spit. He's not special. He should be in second place. All right. She sits at home, powerless. Maybe she can throw a wrench in the works. Call the school. Get him in trouble. She calls. She doesn't have a plan, but she calls. A secretary picks up. Hey, hello? Adriana hesitates. Hello? I'm calling about my son, Joao. I didn't receive his grades. Can I confirm the address on file? The secretary, just like that, gives her everything. So easy. She hangs up, stares at the phone. Why has she done that? Her mind drifts to Dad's comic. This is what she would do. Gather information and exploit. Hmm. Okay. She dumps her bike behind a fire hydrant. Checks her watch. Should be any minute now. Joao walks out right on cue from his fencing lesson. She writes it down. She knows where he'll be better than even he knows. In an hour, he'll be home playing video games. He'll go to bed at 10, he'll wake up, go to school, 
stop by his friend's house, bike home, get tutored on math. This has been her entire month, following Joao, learning his schedule, learning everything about him. She still doesn't know why. It felt good to have this power over someone. The power to know that at any time she could disrupt his entire routine, his entire life. She gets on her bike and tails him on his way home. There's an alley he always takes as a shortcut. Not a particularly safe place to be when you're being pursued. But, of course, he doesn't know that he's being pursued. She's being careful. His bike goes over a nail. He flips over the handlebars, scrapes his knees and palms, swears. He sits there, staring at his flat tire, doing nothing. Useless. This is the boy who is taking first place honors in her class. This feckless cretin. She imagines jumping him right now. It would be impossible for anyone to see her. This is where she'd do it. From Dad's manga, she thinks to herself. This is where I'd do it. All right. She pours over the black, scratchy drawings of Soñadora Sombrios. There must be some kind of clue in here. Something she missed. Something that would explain why her father walked out the door that day and never came back. There were no answers. Not to that question, anyway. This comet that her father had worked on every night to the dim light of an old accountant's lamp instead lay out a blueprint. A blueprint on how to live. She loved Arivalente, her father's first manga, but it didn't teach her anything. Not like this. The skull merchant has a system. She learns everything she can about her target, stalks their digital and literal footprints until she has a complete profile of their every move, knows them better than they know themselves. And then she waits until they're completely stuck in their routine and she shatters it. She chooses only the most elite opponents. Initially, it was to protect the weak, but that pretension faded quickly. Eventually, her only goal is to destroy those who challenge her claim to be the best, takes them out of their element, and destroys them. Scared, alone, and far from home. Adriana sees the parallels. The rich, comfortable executives she deals with daily operate with a sickening detachment so used to their lives of comfort, convinced of their own invincibility. It won't be easy to crack their armor, but worthwhile endeavors are rarely easy. That's actually a pretty interesting backstory. Here's what we'll get for 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And of course, looks like we get a little movie too. I'm very curious. I guess that makes a little bit more sense on our backstory. And that we see it. Oh, cool. We'll wrap it up here tonight. I got a little bit of a headache. So, I'm going to get some medicine and try to take it easy. See you guys tomorrow, I think. Yeah, tomorrow's Friday. So, see you guys tomorrow. Much love. And yeah. Bye, guys.